Hi, welcome back to Cat and Dogs on Wheels. If you're new to the channel, I'm Cat. This is Smokey, and this is RJ McCrew. Just a quick update on Smokey. He's not his perky self yet, but he is past the crisis mode and into the recovery mode. If you want more details on that, check out Sunday's video. But for now, let's get on to prepping and primering the bus, getting ready for paint. My, hi dude, my favorite tools, the tools I wouldn't do without. First, we've got the eraser wheel. This just goes on to your drill and bam, 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 it takes the stickers off. I tried many ways to get the stickers off between heat and different scrapers and stuff, this is the way to go. If you've got to remove decals on your bus, get yourself an eraser wheel, eraser wheel really cheap. I think it was eight or $9. I'll put a link for it down below in the description. But if you got to do any major sticker removal, this works. Now, I have another tool. I came across this and I love this tool. This is plastic razor blades. Let me give you a quick close up. This is a plastic razor blade on its little handle. This works wonders. If you need to get glue, stickers, anything that you need to get off but you want to preserve the finish. This works on glass, it works on wood, but this is going to take off more than just your stickers. But this is also good for little tight areas that this doesn't fit in. This actually has ended up being my go-to tool. I use this more than you would think. I'm actually ordering a second set of plastic razor blades. Again, I'll put a link for this in the description but I have found so many ways to use plastic razor blades where you might use a normal razor blade only you don't have to worry about scratches and dings and chips. Okay, I chose to use automotive paint. Um, I use Restoration Shop. I will put links to that paint and primer in the description below. A little more expensive than doing your spray cans and stuff, but way better quality paint job. I, I ended up spending $650 on my paint job. That included plastic, tape, sandpaper, buying a spray gun, my paint and primer, anything else. Uh, my little wheel. Um, but in my mind, totally worth it totally worth it okay so with my handy dandy tools and working sporadically here and there I got all my stickers off next was sanding and sanding I again did in between other projects I would sand for a couple hours here sand for a couple hours there there's a lot of sanding can't really tell you how long it took me to do the sanding and the sticker removal I can say many, many hours scattered over months. <laughs> so then it came time for some body work. Now, I did a lot of research on YouTube and stuff and saw how, you know, the body detailers did all their body work. And I knew I didn't have the skill level to do it and have it look smooth and pretty. But then I saw these, this, YouTube channel where they use coins to plug their holes and I thought that was brilliant <laughs> So that's what I did. I, I uh, Used my e6000 glue. I'll put a link to that. That's one of the things that I always have on hand and I glued coins um, Dimes nickels quarters depending on the size of the hole that I was plugging it took me hardly no time to do my body work by gluing coins so I actually recommend that if you're not a body work person it really I mean I think it's cute you can't even see it from a distance but whenever I come up close and look at it it makes me smile so 
All righty. Sanded. Taped. Body work done. Ready to primer. Last look at the yellow. I'm pretty excited. I'm also very nervous. Next, on to the primer. I thought I could use just a regular electric spray gun that you use for painting the house. Now, I knew they said to get a special air pressure gun, but I thought I am going to try it. And I did try it. I used it for my primer. I wouldn't do it again. Anything that you're using with your automotive paint and primer, use an air pressure spray gun paint gun but I used that one and and I have to say it went on good I really did the primer job looked good but if you went up close it was actually it looked like a very nicely textured wall it was bumpy but it was very even so if you were doing a house <laughs> it'd be a great way to uh, texture your walls but that's not the finish I was going for so but you have to sand after primer anyway which is why I went ahead and did the whole bus that way and then I just sanded it and this restoration shop primer sands really easy really nice in fact the instructions on the can are to sand it's best to sand within two hours don't leave it more than 24 hours or it's going to be hard to sand. And I have to say that was the easiest part of my sanding was sanding the primer. Well, I did it. The bus is primered. I barely had enough. It's sort of light in some places, but I barely had enough. But I got her done. Primer dries and I will continue to sand. Now, one part is sanded, not the back. This side. This side has been primered and sanded. Now I just have to sand the other three sides and I'm ready to paint. Woohoo! So with the bus all prepped and primered, it's next step is time to taper off again and paint. But before I did that, I went to Home Depot and I invested in an air pressure paint gun and I borrowed an air compressor. So I hope you join me next week for the adventure of painting my bus. And if you watched my video on installing the locks for my back doors, you'll get an idea of why it became an adventure because it's just sort of my M.O. <laughs> So I hope to see you next week for painting the bus. I want to thank you all very much for taking the time out to watch my videos. And I want to thank you, thank you, thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, till next time, here's what my guys have to say. So